back dishes. What I'm really excited about with the new banjo minnow and it's taken two years to redesign this. And when I say redesign, they're really refinements to make it even better, to, to, to get a fish or a bait to be so much more lifelike than it's ever been. I mean, this product was out over 20 years ago. So we had to make some changes and innovation. It's taken us two years. A couple of things, why? First of all, the plastic that we use. We call it a living plastic. And look at the pliability. Look at that move in my finger. It's incredible. And no bait does that. I mean, no. you can't even have a, a worm and do that. It, it doesn't yeah. do the same thing. No bait does that. The other part of it are these holographic eyes. These shimmer. And in the light, when you see, when the light's going through the water, um, it catches a little glimpse, which obviously catches a fish's attention. The other thing is this purling of the bottom of the fish just below the lateral line. That purling, if you can see that, catch that glimpse of light, that's what it's doing in the water as well. Go ahead and tell them about the blunted nose, because to me that's probably yeah. one of the most important improvements that we've made. Yeah, this blunt nose is different and better for a reason. The first reason it allows you to put the nose anchor in super, super easy, as Chance showed you. But also, it creates a little, res when the water's going this way and the minnow's going that way, it creates a little resistance and it flutters a little bit. Yeah. More than it's ever done before. Front end resistant for back end action. Speaking of back end action, we, had, we made the tail a little bigger and we've loosened it up a little bit, but this is still really pliable plastic. But look at that tail. It's almost like you've got this, you're trying to catch this minnow in your hand and you're trying to hook it, but it's a banjo minnow. So other cool thing about this new design is it has the most popular colors. The data we've received over 20 years, these are the most popular colors. This green has always been very, very popular and it's a very, very popular for, for lures and, um, anyway. But the difference is look at that shine, the shimmer. If you look real close, you can see the scales. This is what we call the black, right? And we have a shot where it actually looks like, you know when you have a bait fish in your hand and the scales come off in your hand, that little, we actually have a shot of, you can actually see the scale on the bait and you're like, oh my gosh, that's just like it came off on my hand. We've got the yellow. You know what I like the yellow about? I, I like the yellow when it's in darker water. Murkier, like murky ponds. murkier pond. Yeah, it really, really works there. And it, and for me, it's really worked good at sunset. I like it at sunset. Yeah. But you know, you can have your own favorite colors. But you know, all very, the colors. Very effective color. Right now, this is totally new. This is what we call a translucent silver. Now, why did we do that? Well, because you would think that these look very similar, but when you have them in the water, they look totally different. This one's darker, this one's lighter, and it's, it's almost translucent. And because of the translucency, the sparkle is even more intense. Yes. So they look similar outside of the water, but they're totally different they, in the water. Yeah, they'll catch fish completely differently. Sometimes, you know, they'll be wanting the black. Yep. Sometimes that bite might not be happening. That's why you go to the translucent silver. And the best thing about all of this is nobody has the living plastic like the banjo minnow. The banjo minnow in its new design is totally different, totally lifelike, and totally gonna catch you more fish.